We are here at the offices of Norman Lamb MP, dressed in mourning as a mark of respect for at least 23 people who have died in the last five months through suicide as a result of not getting the help they needed because of severe cuts to Norfolk and Suffolk mental health services. These tragic deaths are directly or indirectly the result of cuts ordered by this coalition government which knows the price of everything and the value of nothing, where everything and everyone is traded while the vulnerable are left to die. Norman Lamb spins the cuts as institutional bias against mental health services in the NHS, but he is second in command at the Department of Health and he is the minister with mental health services in his job description. Norman Lamb is responsible for these cuts. He is responsible for this tragic and unnecessary loss of life. He should not be standing around pointing the finger of blame at everyone else, nor, who sh nor should he be referring to this tragic loss of life as extremely troublesome. He should be examining his conscience. He should certainly at least say sorry. Many cannot understand why he's still in office at all. Few of us can fathom the pain and the hurt of these individuals, which for their families will continue for years, decades even. Norman Lamb doesn't give a damn. He, like his millionaire master, Jeremy Hunt, and in turn his millionaire masters, George Osborne and David Cameron, believe the weak should go to the wall. Theirs is a calculated and poisonous indifference to suffering. We in the Norfolk People's Assembly and the People's Assembly movement nationally care. And we intend to get rid of this government of cuts and privatisations because their cuts are hurting hundreds of thousands of us in Norfolk, millions right across Britain. And now people are dying. And we put on notice any future Labour or coalition government that continues with cuts and privatisations. We will oppose you too. There is an alternative, and it is making the tax avoiders and evaders pay the billions they owe us, scrapping all bankers' bonuses, raising taxes on the super-rich, and tapping into the trillions they have stashed away in their tax havens. With these and other radical measures, we can pay off the deficit, rebuild our national health service and welfare state, re-nationalise our railways and the energy companies, and start to rebuild a decent society in Britain, one we can be proud of again. Thank you.